We're currently heading to meet up with a Montenegrin family and for the next 24 hours we're going to be living, eating and sleeping in Montenegro style. I'm so looking forward for today. This road. It's very dangerous driving in Montenegro. Hey Radomir. Hello. Where can we park? Yes, parking. Uh, this is me. This is Radomir and you might recognize him from a few weeks ago when he helped us out with our tree problem. Yes, 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 beautiful day. Yes, yes. I don't want to kill any chickens. Oh, to meet you. Goran. Goran, good, good, good. Hello, nice to meet you. Charlene. Charlene. Goran. With Tandy all parked up in the local village, it was time to head up to the cabin where we'll be staying. Hold on tight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so this is their cabin. Hello. Hello. Wow. Hello. Yeah, basically it's a small cabin here overlooking the town of Lubnice. It's all wooden, so much detail here and very simple. You've got the living room, with the fireplace which keeps them warm in winter and you've got a small kitchen, bathroom and a bedroom I think where everyone sleeps. And what is this? Old money? Money my grandfather, my grandmother. That's amazing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh for the cow, yes. And what is this? What is this? Carpia, snow. Ah, snowshoes! Oh, these are snowshoes! Ah, snowshoes, yeah. really? Yes. Wow. Coffee. Wooden shoes there. This. To knit. Flat, yes. yes, wow. This. Scissors. It's so unique and it's so authentic. Yeah, and this wall really takes you back in time. Oh, legend. Peshice Jezero dobila naziv po porodici Peshice. This is, this is the lake we're going yes, to later on today. So it says, since ancient times, it has been believed that a guy named Pesic, whose beauty was widely talked about, decided to bathe in the lake. The fairies were so jealous of his beauty that they drowned him in the lake. And it was the only time that someone drowned in this lake. That's how the lake got the name of Pesic Lake. Do you swim in Pesic Lake? Yes, yes. Yes? <laughs> True, the legend? Yes. Zovem Pešić Radojka. Moja su familija Pešić Radomir, Goran, Vesna. Tu smo življali u Lubnice odavno, ima nekih 40-50 godina. Tu živimo, tu se bavimo poljoprivredom, stočarstvom, školovali djecu, podigli s toga. Sad Radomir je ovo razradio ovaj turistički predijele, bungalove i ovo bavi se turizmom. Dok je stao na svoje noge, radi, dobio je sina, zovemo se Vuk, moje unuče, prvo najmilije, lijepo je sve. Dobra su mi djeca, ja sam zadovoljna kao majka sa njima. Volim i ja sa njim da se bavimo tijem turizmom, da kuvamo, da dočekujemo goste, da pratimo i tako. So I've just been down to the garden with Radomir and they've got everything fresh here. Got loads of vegetable and salad which they use for their meals as well. And he was also explaining that he has to gather all the wood to cover them for winter, normally until April, because it does get quite cold here, especially now at the beginning of next year. January and February are really cold here in the mountains of Montenegro. Right guys. Marakio. <laughs> I try it. What is it? Raki, Raki. Yes, Raki. So this is similar to what we had in Turkey. Yes. Yeah. Two, three. Let's go. Oh Come God. on, Chris. <laughs> wow. Yaka. <laughs> wow, that's strong. <laughs> it's 
nothing for you, yeah? Gotta go. Me, Bobby. Easy. Look at me, I just drank this and it's killing me already. Mm. Oh my god. Ah. Yeah, I'll stick to water, thanks. It's been so nice speaking to Radimir's mother. She's been explaining about the traditional Montenegro family and telling us all about it. I think they're actually going to cook us a traditional meal from Montenegro. So here we have some fresh vegetables from the garden. Yes. yes. Garden, yes. Cheese. Cheese. Yes. Cheese. 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 Meat. 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 Yes. And some bread. Bread. Some yes. Fresh bread. Yes. That looks really good, the bread. Yes. Rada. My mother. Even on its own, it's good. I never tasted any cheese better than this in my entire life, I think. So delicious. She just brought us some mushrooms as well. Funny thing is that this is just the appetizer, I think, because they're actually cooking a warm meal in the kitchen as well. Domaci, so Domaci. bravi, well, yeah. 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 Oh, zova, zova. Nah. You like it? It's good, but it's better than the rocky. Yeah. <laughs> rocky was too strong. This is nice and sweet. Domaci, da. Strudla sa džemom. Okay, so they make their own apple strudel. Da, here. da. And we have to try it. Everything is good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We eat this a lot in Germany and Austria. Yes. But this is Montenegro. Yes, strudel. my mother strudla. <laughs> Traditional. It's bloody good. Yes. Thank you. Well, because of the language difference, it does get a bit difficult at times. Like we're speaking in English and they speak in Serbian. Yeah. Yes, yes. So we're using a bit of Google Translate where we can. But although we can't understand each other, we can definitely feel how hospitable they are and what a beautiful environment this is that we're in. Montenegro name Gusle. Traditional Crnogorska music. Looks good. Domaća hrana, da probate naše proizvode u Crnu Goru. This is the national dish national, of Montenegro. Traditional. Montenegro, kachamar. Potato, krompir, cheese. So we're actually about to eat the national dish of Montenegro. It's called kachamak. And as you might be able to see, it's this kind of potato texture with milk, cheese. Charlene's already eating. I haven't tasted so it yet. So delicious, yeah. Here. I've got my own. So good, guys. Wow. You can taste the cheese right away. Soft. Soft and creamy. It's Very soft, soft and, and creamy. creamy, yes. And the cheese is so good here. Check, check. Not food for the meal. Wow. Good job. A really, really good meal. It was good. How do you say thank you in Montenegro? Vala. Ah, Vala, like Croatian. Yes, Vala. Yes, yes. Vala. 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 Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and this is the original hut that we're in now, yeah? Yes. Stara 200 godina kuća koja je napravljena tesanom građom od drveta. So right next to this house, which is over 100 years old that we're eating in, they also just built these new bungalows. I think they're mainly for tourists, to be honest, and they just did them this year. So there's three of them here. One, two, three overlooking the village. My god, what a beautiful view. Can we go inside, yeah? Da, izvolte. Wow. Izvolte. Dobro došli. Za uveče. Pri atmosfer. And this is the view. Dolje bašta. So a pretty unique sleeping experience. Just a mattress in the wooden hut. I can imagine this place is so nice in summer. And then you've got the amazing view that you can see behind me of Lubnice village and the mountains. And we can see Tandy down there as well. 
Somewhere over here. Let's go! So we're back on the road again, on the back of the truck, and this time we're heading up to the mountains. Five minutes. Uh, uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes ten now. Minutes. Oh my Down god. The the lake. Yeah, this is difficult holding on to this. Yes. No cable car? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cable car. Uh, this mountains uh, national park Gorishtu National Park Biogradska Gora. Dobrodošli prijatelji iz Samalte da uživate na Bjelasici. So we finally come to a stop. I guess we've arrived at the lake. And I've got to say, that wasn't a comfortable ride at all, but we made it. Oh. We're trying to get out of here. <laughs> no, yeah, I can't even feel my hand. I was hanging on for dear life. Oh my God. Wow, what a drive, huh? <laughs> Easy for you to say, sitting on the front. <laughs> You made it, Holly. Let's go to the lake. Ooh. Wow. We just hiked up through the forest for about 10 minutes and we've made it to this amazing lake. So beautiful up here. And we've got the place all to ourselves. We're truly really high up in the mountains. We were driving up for about half an hour, I think definitely worth it up here. No way we're coming up here with our van and with a normal car. Had to be with the old truck but absolutely beautiful lake up here close to the top of the mountain. So this place is called Pesice Jezera which is Pesice Lake and that's actually their family name, Pesice. Yes. So in reality, this is their lake. <laughs> but obviously anyone can come here, right? Yeah. And you also have a katun up here, yes? Yes, yes. Pesice katun. katun. So a katun is like a small cabin that most of the families have up here in the mountains. Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> So we haven't got enough time to go up all the way to the Katun, but I've just asked Radimir to send me some photos how it looks inside. So if he understood me, you look at them right now on the screen. Uh, look man, drone, this Katun. Okay, I got it boss. fire for us so can you imagine how warm it is and now we get to enjoy the beautiful mountain view and the forest and i was actually indulging in some apple strudel yeah <laughs> what's left of it 
and they've just told us that they're going to be cooking fish tonight so it seems we've got more food coming yes can't believe it i'm full but i can't really say no to tradition in, yeah. yes montenegro food yeah we'll give it a taste at least and we'll try and eat as much as we can <laughs> let's go in the kitchen to see what they're doing here we have Radha, she's going to cook us two pieces of fish. This looks delicious. Rechna, rechna, riba. Right now she's doing a small mix of garlic, lemon and some onions as well to put on the fish. Vala, <laughs> vala. Vala, vala. <laughs> We're feeling so welcome here. Everything is homemade here. That's what I really like. Okay, something. Radha is very busy now. She's picking up the dough and she's putting it in hot oil and basically they form and they expand a bit and then she turned them upside down again she shake the pan and now they're ready to be served I can truly feel that she's doing this food for us with passion and she really loves to cook because this kitchen is well equipped it's so small but there is everything and what I really like is that there is character and style you know it's not like just white or maybe everything black like you see nowadays and in some kitchens you know there is like this tradition and character and it's authentic as well it's so nice just to be here in this kitchen in Montenegro <laughs> and experience this you now come full time with me in van da, da. good da da, 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 da. <laughs> Da. You teach me how to cook? Mi smo pite priganice da. We have a deal. <laughs> Someone came to steal one. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely going to say that he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate <laughs> with love from Rada. <laughs> okay, so now it's my turn to try one. Da. Da una prova. Mm. Very good. Oh my god, I like it. Mm. It's so good. It's like crispy on the outside and very soft from the inside. You can definitely tell that there is oil involved in this, but it's so good. And to prepare traditional food, it takes quite some time. You can't be working from nine till seven. You know, you go back home and you start cooking this because it will take you forever <laughs> so we've just had some really good fish and then we're eating these priganitsa priganitsa yes they took a long time to make but they're really really tasty i have to ask her for the recipe <laughs> very very tasty I think I've tried it with the yogurt, with the jam. Um, they were eating it with the fish as well. I think I like it best with the jam. We never thought we'd end up eating with a family of locals here in Montenegro, eating their food and tasting the very best of their cuisine. I think so far, this is my favorite, but I can feel the oil and I don't think it's healthy to eat these every day. Are you going to have yogurt every day now? <laughs> From now on, yogurt every day. So they've just told us that they eat yogurt every day, cheese every day, and I would fit in really well here because I love me some good dairy. So we're going to sleep here tonight, and they're going to be sleeping down in the village, and tomorrow morning they're going to drive up and cook us a breakfast before we leave. So I think this like 24 hours here in the village of Lubnice has been a high calorie. 24 hours <laughs> but it's very good though it's very good so can't complain so this is where we're going to sleep tonight oh ouch <laughs> <Your head. laughs> 
looks quite comfy. Yeah, we're gonna sleep apart for tonight. Polly is going to stay here. Good girl, sit down. Good girl, you can't get on the bed. No, 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 no. Down. Good girl. So we're gonna get ready for bed because we're shattered after a busy day. And we'll see you in the morning. Yes, and we're so full, right? We really need to rest. <laughs> too much, too much. Good night. See you in the morning. Where we've woken up this morning absolutely brilliant view there's some low clouds today which means that although i can see a bit of blue sky the valley is just full of mist like these little patches of mist and it makes the place look even more mysterious and i think that's one of the most beautiful scenes that you can get in the morning when you've got a colorful background and then patches of mist and fog in the valley yeah we had a brilliant night's sleep in the cabin challenge just getting ready and I think the guys, oh look, I can see him coming now. I can see him coming now. He's come to make us breakfast. Hello, Radimir. Good morning. Here he is. <laughs> so just enjoyed a nice cup of tea out here this morning. And yeah, I think it's time to get ready for breakfast. Fresh bed for breakfast. Looks good. <laughs> Today Radomir is here bright and early and he's made us some eggs and cheese and brought some fresh bread as well, which looks absolutely amazing. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Since we've been here, we haven't stopped eating. Yeah. <laughs> it's warm and it's so thick. But when you mix it with the cheese, magic happens. Woo! Lubnice. Beautiful, isn't it? Very small town, but it's surrounded by huge mountains. And right now we're in the very end of autumn and we've got a little bit of red left. So we need to start packing up soon because Radomir is going to come and get us any minute now to take <laughs> us back to the van. We really loved it. It was a wonderful experience. To sleep here in this cabin and also yesterday the drive was epic. <laughs> something that we would have never done you know with our van and also to meet a family in Montenegro thanks to that fallen tree. <laughs> yeah, it's so good to spend time with a family like this with a totally different culture totally different way of life and yeah I really enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed watching the video as well. They opened their arms you know and they were so welcoming and inviting. The language barrier was a bit difficult at times and yeah it's a bit, it's hard obviously when you can't understand what they're trying to tell you or to get a message across but but i think we managed, we managed i think <laughs> yeah hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching if you did drop a comment down below let us know which was your favorite moment and yeah hit the like button as always and we'll see you next week for more adventures in montenegro yes. Ciao, bye, bye.